This video will focus on describing, calculating, and interpreting the following six key liquidity ratios. Working capital. The current ratio. The acid test or quick ratio. The accounts receivable collection period. Day sales and inventory. And the revenue operating cycle. Liquidity analysis primarily involves analyzing short-term cash needs. Net profit does not mean cash in the bank. Profitable companies without sufficient cash are at risk of not meeting their short-term obligations. One of the simplest, yet most important liquidity measures is working capital. Working capital is the dollar value difference between a company's current assets and current liabilities at a point in time. Here's the relevant information for Big Dog Car Works for the fiscal years ended 2022 through 2024. All numbers are in thousands of dollars. Total current assets are shown here, and total current liabilities are shown here. For 2024, BDCC's working capital is $178,000, calculated as $1,433,000 in current assets less $1,255,000 in current liabilities. For 2023 and 2022, respectively, working capital is $67,000 and $336,000. From 2022 and 2023, working capital decreased by $269,000, then increased by $111,000 from 2023 to 2024. Over the three years, working capital has decreased by $158,000. The next ratio is the current ratio which expresses working capital as a ratio and is calculated as current assets divided by current liabilities. The current ratio for 2024 is 1.14, calculated as $1,433,000 in current assets divided by $1,255,000 in current liabilities. The ratios for 2023 and 2022 are 1.07 to 1 and 1.91 to 1, respectively, calculated the same way. Usually, the higher this ratio, the better, to a point. The overall decline from 1.91 to 1.14 over the three-year period may be cause for concern. Often, the current ratio is compared to a desired benchmark, such as, for example, 2 to 1, which means the company would have $2 in current assets for every $1 in current liabilities. But is a 2 to 1 benchmark enough? Maybe, but it's the composition of the current assets that's important. Consider these two companies, A and B, each with current ratios of 2.0. Both have total assets of $40,000 and total liabilities of $20,000. Which of these two companies can pay their current debt most easily? Despite having the same current ratio as company B, company A, with only $1,000 in cash on hand and $2,000 in accounts receivable is likely to have a tough time quickly playing off any short-term liabilities, such as accounts payable. It's relatively high composition of inventory that makes company A less liquid than company B because it takes time to sell inventory and turn it into cash when we consider the cash-to-cash -cash cycle. Company B, with $10,000 of cash on hand can pay off accounts payable coming due more easily. The next liquidity ratio is the acid test, or quick, ratio, which addresses the weakness found in the current ratio. The quick ratio is calculated as cash plus short-term investments plus accounts receivable, the sum of which is then divided by current liabilities. Notice that inventory and other current assets, such as prepaid expenses are excluded from this formula. These items are excluded because they cannot be converted into cash quickly. Inventory, for example, must be sold, and if it is sold on account, will sit in accounts receivable until collected which could be 30 days or more. An alternative calculation can work backwards from the total current assets and deduct inventory and prepaid assets and then divide by current liabilities. For Big Dog, the acid test ratio for 2024 is 0 0.48, or 0.48 to 1, calculated as the $600,000 in quick assets, comprised of $20,000 in cash, plus $36,000 in short-term investments, plus $544,000 in accounts receivable divided by $1,255,000 in current liabilities. The ratios for 2023 and 2022 are 0 0.52 and 0 0.93 to 1, respectively, calculated the same way. 
What's a good benchmark for an acid test ratio? 1 to 1 is usually reasonable, so using that as a benchmark, big dogs declining acid test ratios over 3 years from 0.93 to 0.48 are worrisome. The next liquidity ratio is the account receivable, or AR, collection period ratio, which measures management's effectiveness regarding its trade accounts receivable. It measures the average number of days needed to collect an amount due, compared to the collection period, i.e., net 30 means due within 30 days. The formula is average accounts receivable divided by net credit sales multiplied by 365 days, and where their average accounts receivable is calculated as the beginning of year balance plus end of year balance divided by 2. Here's the net credit sales and average accounts receivable data for Big Dog for 2024 and 2023. For 2024, average AR is $482,000 calculated as the $420,000 2023 balance plus the $544,000 2024 balance divided by 2. Then to calculate the AR collection period we take that result and divide by the net sales of $3,200,000 and multiply by 365 days for a final answer of 54.98 or 55 days. This means that in 2024, Big Dog took an average of 55 days to collect its accounts receivable. For 2023, the average AR is $338,500 calculated as the 2022 AR balance of $257,000 plus the 2023 ending AR balance of $420,000 and divided by 2. We then divide that by the $2,800,000 2023 net sales and multiply by 365 to end up with 44.13 days. When comparing the two years, we see that the company's collection period has increased from 44 days to 55 days, and both years' ratios exceed the company's 30-day collection period. The next liquidity ratio is the day's sales and inventory ratio, which measures the number of days that can be serviced by existing inventory levels. The formula for the day's sales and inventory ratio is average merchandise inventory divided by cost of goods sold times 365 days. You can tell this ratio is calculated similarly to the accounts receivable collection ratio. The average inventory is calculated as the current year inventory plus the prior year inventory divided by 2. Here is our current asset data for Big Dog again, but this time I've included cost of goods sold instead of net sales. The average inventory for 2024 is $668,000 calculated as the 2023 inventory of $503,000 plus the 2024 inventory of $833,000 divided by 2. We then divide that by the 2024 cost of goods sold of $2,500,000 and multiply by 365 to end up with 97.53 days. This means Big Dog's current inventory level should last about 98 days. For 2023, the average is the 2023 ending inventory of $503,000 plus $361,000, the 2022 ending inventory, divided by 2, to end up with $432,000, which we divide by the 2023 cost of goods sold of $2,150,000 and then multiply by 365 days to end up with 73.34 days worth of inventory. We can see that the supply of inventory has increased from 73 days in 2023 to 98 days in 2024. This is a significant increase because inventory ties up capital resources so the change should be investigated further. This brings us to the last liquidity ratio, the revenue operating cycle where we can combine the day sales and inventory and accounts receivable collection days ratios to determine how long it takes to complete the entire revenue cycle. The operating cycle starts with the purchase of inventory and ends with the collection from customers after the inventory sold. For 2024, it took 153 days to complete the revenue cycle, made up of 98 days in inventory plus 55 days to collect. This is significantly higher than 2023's revenue cycle completion of 117 days, 73 days in inventory plus 44 days to collect. Overall, the number of days to complete the revenue operating cycle has significantly increased from 117 days to 153 days. This is a 30% increase in the number of days, from the previous year. 
management would want to investigate and determine what action could be taken to either reduce the amount of inventory purchased and held, or try to increase sales efforts to sell, as well as reduce the time it takes to collect from customers. If accounts payable terms are n 60 days, the company will not be able to pay their suppliers, because the number of days in the cycle exceeds the 60-day terms. In summary, based on all the liquidity ratios, it appears that Big Dog Car Works Corporation is becoming less liquid. Current assets, especially quick assets, are declining relative to current liabilities and the revenue operating cycle is increasing.